everyone, my name is Elizabeth and welcome to my channel and today we are going to be talking about some basic organ registration. Now organ registration is important because there are a lot of different kinds of stops that you can use that help you when you're hymn playing in different ways and support the congregation in different ways. So when you're playing on the piano, everything is one pitch level. Middle C is what is actually known as middle C. And that is what we hear when we're using just an eight foot stop on the organ. This is what it sounds like with just an eight foot stop and eight foot in the pedal. Now, it works for a small group if you're just doing that, but if you're accompanying a big congregation, it can be harder to hear. So what you want to do is to layer those sounds in a way that is effective for everyone to hear their note clearly and sing along. So we're gonna look at some different stops and how they are used to build a principal chorus and what they sound like. So this is the grate and I was starting off with a principal eight, which is right here. And that corresponds to this keyboard here in the middle. If there are three keyboards, this one will be the grate, this one will be the swell, and then this one will be the choir. If there are just two, it would be great and swell, like you see here. So I'm starting off with the principal here, the principal eight. And if you notice, all of these here are principal stops. The flutes are kind of in a, a line or in a little circle over there. And then you have your reeds and other stops up here, like the mixture. So it, organs are usually set up that way where there's everything all in a row. And over here in the panel, we have the octave eight, and all of these principles and flutes and everything are lined up here, and reeds are in red at the top. So how do we build a chorus? Well, we don't want just the eight foot stops. We're gonna go back over here. We don't want just the eight foot stops. We want the pitches above and below that. So what happens when you add a four foot stop is that it becomes an octave higher than the eight foot note is. If you take a, a pipe just like how you would in a string um, when you're playing violin or cello or anything and you cut it in half you get an octave higher so we're gonna add this here actually first this is what it sounds like with just a principle now we're gonna add the octave so see the octave higher is added what happens when we add a two foot stop is that we get a stop that's or a note that's two octaves higher So, so that's how we build a principal chorus. And then because we can't just have this one over here, we're gonna add the 16, which is an octave lower. And we're not gonna add this one yet. This is for bigger registrations, but we might fill this out with some flutes. We'll fill this out with some flutes over here. So this is what they sound like all together. that's your principal chorus. You can also switch out some of these so that you don't have all principles or all flutes if you want to make something softer. So there's two flutes and then an octave on top. But you also have to check for the balance because it might not all sound totally balanced or top heavy or bottom heavy or something. So sometimes when you have all of these you might want to add the mixture and this is a combination of several different ranks and it gives a sharp sound in the top. And then you can also add a trumpet, which is a kind of reed, and you'll get a, a more warm sound or a more trumpet-like sound up here. And then of course you want to add more in the pedal, so at this point we can start adding reeds and then you get more sound there. Or I like this one too. So, so yeah, and then you can also couple things from different manuals. This is the choir here. And so you can also add some of these stops over here if you want a bigger sound and then use the coupler button. And then there's also the swell over here and it has pretty much the same stops, extra principles, extra flutes, and then some extra reeds that you can use if you want to solo things out. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial on basic organ registration, and we'll see you next time. Bye.